Welcome to Dell EMC Data Protection Advisor How To Video Series How To Upgrade Data Protection Advisor Reference Dell EMC Knowledge Base Article Number 546221 This video presents the following DPA upgrade on a non-clustered and without replication setup How to take a data store export Before you begin Please consider the following Schedule time for upgrade Time taken to upgrade very widely It may depend on how large is the DPA data store and how long it take to take a data store export The export should take about 60 gigabytes per hour However, this could vary depending upon how much resource is allocated on DPA server. DPA binaries are available on the Dell EMC support site, under the Downloads section. Please carefully read the corresponding release notes, also the installation and administration guide before performing the upgrade. Make sure to have 5GB free disk space on system temp directory on both the server, and 5GB free disk space on data store installation directory. Taking data store export is very important step, as it's only proven method to go back to previous state if in case there is a failed upgrade. Ensure that you have admin or root privileges on DPA servers. Clear browser cache. Let's see a demonstration. To begin with, log into application server console and navigate to the DPA install directory. Enter dpa.sh app version command. Note down the version. Now that we have noted down the version, we can proceed to take a data store export. Before taking export we need to stop the DPA application services. On DPA app server enter dpa.sh svc status. This will show the current status of the services. To stop the services enter dpa.sh svc stop. Once the services are stopped, we can switch to data store server console to take the data store export. On the data store server, navigate to install directory, check the data store services and confirm it is running. Now, let's start the export by running dpa.shds export. Note that we have directed the export file to export directory under root. You can change the directory accordingly. Hit enter to start the export. Export time varies based on the size of the data store. The export is complete. Let's navigate to the export directory to confirm the export file generated. As we can see the export file, we can now proceed with the DPA upgrade. On data store server navigate to the directory where the install binaries are placed and run the binaries. Make sure to change the file permissions of the binaries before executing. Hit enter until you get a prompt to accept the license agreement. Hit Y and enter. Again, enter Y. Review the upgrade summary and enter to start the upgrade. At this point, you will be asked to set a password for data store. You can enter the old password or choose a new password. Please make a note of the password as this password will be needed while application server upgrade. Now the data store upgrade is complete. Let's switch the console to application server and run the binary. On application server, navigate to binary location and run the binary. Hit enter until you get license agreement. Accept the license agreement by entering Y. Review the upgrade summary and hit enter to continue. At this point you will be requested to enter the data store password. Enter the same password which was used during data store upgrade. Upon completion of application server upgrade, DPA will continue to perform series of upgrade tasks in the background. We can follow the upgrade process by opening the DPA UI. When the upgrade process is completed, the services will start and the login prompt will be enabled. 
Now you can log into the UI and verify the upgrade. Alternatively you can run DPA app version command on the application server to confirm the new version. Important Notes The DPA agent on data store and application server is also upgraded as part of the server upgrade. You must carry out a separate upgrade for a DPA agent in the case of standalone DPA agents only. Binaries for agent is available on Dell EMC support site under downloads section. For failed upgrade, please copy the logs from application server under the mentioned directories and open a support ticket. Please refer to installation and administration guide under upgrade sections for more details. Thank you for watching.